What is a glass fiber? Imagine the glass in the windows of your house or any building, or even things of glass you drink out of. Now imagine you take that glass and turn it into a long tube, the diameter of a human hair. In this jar, I have water, which is a liquid. Glass, like all materials, can also become liquid. That is, if you get it hot enough. But in doing so, you're able to mold it into different shapes, such as the long tube shape we use in glass fibers. And once it solidifies, it keeps its shape. If you leave a glass fiber hollow, or you have a second material inside of it, it can carry light to different electronics throughout your house, like your TV, or your router, or your printer. This is similar to how sink pipes carry water to your faucet. If glass fibers have a solid center, they're very strong and can be made into things like fiberglass sheets, which can be wrapped around an arm to help heal a broken bone. Alrighty, let's get started with the demo. The first step is gonna be to unwrap those Jolly Ranchers and place them into a microwave safe container. So the next step is going to be to microwave your Jolly Ranchers. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to put your microwave on high for eight seconds. And then after those eight seconds, check and see. And if they need some more time, just keep doing increments of eight and then you'll finally get a liquid Jolly Rancher like I had here. Just a safety tip, uh, it gets really hot, so make sure to use oven mitts or hold it by the handle. Now it's time to pull our candy fiber. So with your bamboo rod in hand, stick the tip into the candy liquid. Then make a circular motion to form a little ball of Jolly Ranchers on the tip of the bamboo. Once you have that, you can start to pull as you see in the video. You wanna make sure you do this slowly so that you don't break your fiber. But as you slowly move up, the liquid will contribute more to this thin strand of Jolly Ranchers you have, and that's your fiber. It's amazing to see just how long of a fiber you can pull during this experiment. I recommend having lots of open space above your container while you're pulling. Here I'm showing the fiber coming out of the liquid. And while I was pulling, it detached and then reattached and kept the fiber going. My candy fiber ended up being about three and a half feet long. See if you're able to make one this long, or even longer. Holding your candy fiber up to the light will help you to see the shiny and translucent properties of glass. For cleanup, let your container soak in warm water. Thanks so much for watching. Check out ceramics.org for more info.